The M4 Mac Mini has arrived, and today, I want to take you through my complete setup using the base model. If you're wondering whether the base variant is enough for your needs, or if you should consider some upgrades, this breakdown will answer all your questions. We'll cover why the base model is powerful enough for most users. Smart storage solutions to bypass Apple's expensive upgrades. Monitor, keyboard, and trackpad recommendations. A budget-friendly setup inspired by my dad's Mac Mini workstation. Whether you're a content creator, student, or professional, this guide will help you build a high-performance Mac Mini setup without overspending. Let's get started. Why choose the M4 Mac Mini base model? The base model M4 Mac Mini comes with Apple's latest M4 chip, which is optimized for blazing fast performance and energy efficiency. While some may argue that 256GB of storage is limiting, the reality is that this machine can handle video editing, professional applications, and multitasking exceptionally well. So, why did I choose the base model? It boils down to two key reasons. Performance, the M4 chip is incredibly efficient, handling video editing, app development, and everyday tasks effortlessly. It outperforms previous generations and even some higher-end MacBooks. Storage flexibility, instead of paying Apple's premium prices for storage upgrades, I opted for an external SSD solution that is faster and cheaper, we'll discuss this next. Storage solution, the best alternative to Apple's pricey SSD upgrades. One of the biggest drawbacks of Apple devices is their overpriced storage options. Upgrading to a 2TB SSD directly from Apple would have cost $800. That's where external storage solutions come in. What I chose, the best external SSD setup. To get the best performance without breaking the bank, I went with. Lexer NM794TB SSD, $334. Thunderbolt 4 SSD enclosure, $70. Total cost, $404, versus Apple's $800 for 2 terabytes. Why this setup? Speed Boost, the Lexer NM790 is a Gen 4 SSD that delivers exceptional read-slash-write speeds, making it significantly faster than typical external drives. Thunderbolt 4 Compatibility, the Mac Mini supports Thunderbolt 4, which allows me to maximize transfer speeds and ensure seamless performance. Future Proofing, instead of being locked into Apple's internal SSD, I can upgrade storage anytime without restrictions. Budget-friendly alternative. If you don't need top-tier speeds, a SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD or Crucial X10 SSD is a fantastic pre-built option. However, building your own enclosure plus SSD combo gives you more flexibility and value. My display setup? Choosing the right monitor. A great monitor can dramatically improve your productivity and user experience. I've been using the LG 38-inch ultra-wide monitor, which I bought four years ago for $1,000. Despite its price, it's been a fantastic investment for content creation and multitasking. Budget monitor alternatives. If you're looking for a more affordable display, consider these options. LG 32-inch monitor, around $300, my wife's current monitor. Samsung 32-inch monitor, around $200, my dad's monitor. For most users, a 32-inch monitor is more than enough, and you don't need to spend $1,000 on an ultra-wide display unless you're doing professional editing or gaming. Keyboard and Trackpad, my preferred setup. I've been using the Apple Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad since 2021. While there are many great keyboard options out there, I prefer Apple's accessories for their seamless macOS integration and smooth gestures. Pricing. Apple Magic Keyboard, $179. Apple Magic Trackpad, $129. Total, $308. While Apple's peripherals are premium priced, they offer a level of comfort and functionality that makes them worth it, especially for creative professionals. Budget-friendly alternative. Logitech MX Keys plus Logitech MX Master 3 Mouse, great combo with excellent build quality and macOS support. Budget-friendly setup, my dad's Mac Mini Workstation. Not everyone needs a high-end setup, so I recently helped my dad build a budget-friendly Mac Mini workstation. Here's what we used. M4 Mac Mini, base model, $599. Samsung 32-inch monitor, $200. Existing Apple keyboard and mouse, from his old iMac. Total cost, $799. Since he already owned a keyboard and mouse, the entire setup cost under $800, a fraction of an iMac's price. This approach proves that you don't need to spend thousands to get a powerful and future-proof setup. Final thoughts, is the M4 Mac Mini base model worth it? If you don't need massive internal storage, the base model plus external SSD is the best value option. The M4 chip is powerful enough for most tasks, including video editing, coding, and multitasking. 
Investing in a good monitor and peripherals ensures long-term value without frequent upgrades. You can build a complete setup under $1,000 if you already own peripherals. Should you upgrade anything? If you do heavy professional work, consider upgrading to 16GB RAM for better multitasking. But for most users, the base 8GB RAM with external storage will work perfectly fine. I hope this breakdown helps you make the right decision. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, and I'll be happy to help. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Educational Hub for more in-depth tech content.